Konnichiwa YouTubers, this is Rest Talk straight from Japan and today we're going to do a video review of Transformers Collection number 15, Target Master Stepper with Nebulon. Actually, Stepper was a redeco of Jazz and as you remember, may or may not remember, that was a 1976 911 Porsche Turbo and this was actually known by Hasbro back in the US as I forget what's that guy, Ricochet and Nightstick. So Nightstick's a little Target Master and let me show you the box as always as it was made by Takata Tomi it's like the 20th anniversary edition here and of course here's the box over here there's Stepper Transformer Collection number 15 Target Master Ricochet Stepper with Nebulon and I'll show you the box here the box kind of neat over here shows you what it actually contains over here there's good old Stepper over here tier 4 card number 15 and the Transformers he is an Autobot, it seems like. That's his little bio. I don't care too much about that. Apparently, he was in the man manga. Uh, who cares? A bunch of other mail away Transformers. Uh, here's a bunch of Headmasters. Don't know too much about that. There's C Punch and Counter Punch. And he got a great picture of Minasaur. I just love that picture. That's pretty damn awesome. Uh, but yeah, it's what you get with the box. Now, let me see what else we got in here. The little Target Masters that we're talking about, including Inferno and Stepper and the other ones here that I don't know too much about. More little bios, yada, yada, yada. Hey, there's cool looking bios if you want to see the pictures. Yeah, that's kind of neat. Yeah, actually, let me see what they got here. Yeah, Cyclonus and whatnot, Cup and Ultra Magnus. And the Predacon, Razor Claw, I've made a review about that guy already, so I'm not going to go into that. There's Stepper, and this is what it looks like. There's the Manga. Very nice little detail, and I'll show you that. And that's what it looks like. I'm not going to apply the stickers. It does come with a sticker sheet, and I'll show you that right quick. There's the box. It's uh, the old C109 box. This is the Karatomi Target Master back in the day. Here's the little sticker sheet that I was talking about with the... And it has comes with a little card as usual. He's a Cybertron C109 series. So let's go ahead and look at the robot. I'm talking a lot about the box, but hey, it's a nice looking box. It comes with the three missiles, Nebulon, the Target Master, of course, Stepper, the missile launcher, a little attachment, photon rifle. So it comes off with a little cool things, and I, I like the little transformer thing on the bottom there. So let's go ahead and peel them out, get all this stuff, and of course, once I do that, Oh hell, break, breaks loose. That's all right. Okay. Oh yeah, it, it kind of tabs in real quick. I mean, a nice little color, nice looking car. There's no doubt about that. What can I say? Beautiful looking car. Rolls around all right. Good looking, good clearance. Uh, gap issues as always, which I really don't mind. But it has a port here for the Target Master, and I'll show you that. Beautiful looking finish, a lot of die cast, mostly the top is die cast, a few exceptions is these little rear wind or fenders here, or whatever that is on the side over here. Rubber wheels that I truly like, I like the pimping, beautiful pimping uh, rims, and of course the back detail and uh, bottom, not that much auto, auto carriage junk, and of course the rub symbol is kind of need warm hands to, as we mentioned before, to do that. Here's a little Target Master, put this to the side. Good old Nebulon, or Rick, not Ricochet, but uh, Nightstick. Folds up rather well, goes in the port right there. Oh yeah, I forgot, this is the detail on the face over here so you can see better. All right, there we go. Good detailing on the face, red eyes, orange eyes. And it doesn't do much, it's a, all it does is folds down. So there we go. And it pops in right here, voila. And that's all it does on the top. So not a bad looking thing, good detailing. I like the car, I wish the gap issues were fixed, but other than that, seven out of 10, not bad. Flame decals, you can actually add that to that. Transformation is simple, let's face it, this is a <laughs> Autobat from back in the day. So all you have to do is pull that out, flip that up, put these up, and separate the legs. And that's it for the legs. And one thing I don't like, it, it, man, it's just horrible at leaning. Next thing we're going to do is that the fists are pegged in. And I'm just going to go ahead and unpeg that. That's kind of neat. Move the arms out. And that's it for that. Rub symbol again, of course. And remember, just pull that up. I like the little chrome painting over here. And we're almost done here. Flip the head up like that. And remember, the G1 wasn't really that complicated. 
and there you go now flip the wrist over here because they're backwards so not too bad flip that over there you got a little bit of cable on the back big huge whale tail and it it stands all right i reckon let me show you the detail on the head right there still gold painted but i wish they would have differentiated, uh, differentiated it from the visor head doesn't move as far as articulation you got shoulder articulation doesn't move up and down but it goes around 360 kind of a double jointed elbow if you want to call it that and somewhat of a bicep swivel that's pretty good actually wrist swivel and uh no waist swivel no no hip swivel no no maybe a an ankle swivel and that's about it I mean it is G1 what can I say there we go and it's a kind of a short figure I'm not gonna lie to you so let me go ahead and show you and it's tall about just over four and a quarter inches tall so he's not a tall figure at all all right so what other gimmicks does he have well he has nightstick which he can hold in either hand with his little but he has difficulty holding that and of course he has his little photon rifle voila yeah, this is a good looking photon rifle. Missiles that attach on the back over here. Of course, I'm not going to... They just attach right here. It looks like it's tabbed in so we can get it. And this is a little tricky, but I think I can get it. And if I can, oh well. Uh, of course, it, it never works out here. <laughs> I can do it real... I can do it fine when I'm not filming, of course, but... And of course, let me see. Let me just pop in over there. I'll figure this out. It ain't rocket science. There we go. Something like that. <laughs> All right. Well, you get the drift. But the thing is, is it also comes with this little attachment over here that pops in in the back. So if you wanted to put the target master in there, that so be it. Uh, something like that. There we go. That's not too bad. So if you wanted to put his target master on his shoulder, you can. So there we go. Something like that. <laughs> I'm getting difficulty doing that. But of course he does come with this. Um, so it does pop in. Something like that. I'm not going to waste my time trying to put that in there. Alright YouTubers. I'm going to give him a 7 out of 10. Because he's not too bad for an Autobot. For size comparison. Here he is with Brawl. So Brawl towers over him. So he's shorter than a Deluxe class. Just slightly taller than a Scout class. Alright. That's all I got, and I'll catch you all next time.